All right, college kids are coming home for the holidays, but the reality may fall short of expectations. Yeah, joining us now to help us navigate a college student's return home is Amy Schmidt, a host of a podcast, Fearlessly Facing 50. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Great to see you. All right, so Amy, this may be a first time college freshman returning home from school. What should parents be expecting? Oh, such a great question. You know, this is such a period of transition and growth for these kids, and communication is key. That's really the whole crux of having them home for this long break. It's talking and having these what I call considerate conversations and talking about things like, you know, some curfews. Things may have changed a little bit. You know, you've adjusted to a nor nor new normal in your household, and they've adjusted to their new normal being independent. So there's a lot of talk that's going to be going on. All right, so you mentioned some of those changes. So let's say dinner's now at 7 every night instead <laughs> of 6, or, you know, laundry's done on Saturdays instead of Sundays. Should parents have a conversation and give kids a heads up about some of those changes at home to prepare them? You know, absolutely. And because, you know, these, these kids that have left the house, they're, they're independent. They're doing their own laundry, believe it or not, hopefully. Hopefully they've <laughs> changed those sheets. You never know. But, you know, we do have to have some talks with them and say, listen, you're going to be home for an ex you know extended period of time, and we want you to have some skin in the game on this. So let's talk about some expectations. Let's talk about things like laundry. Let's talk about things like filling the gas tank up, maybe when you're going out to see friends, um, things like that. So it's just really kind of opening the dialogue and having these conversations to you know have them have some power in it so they feel like they're part of the you know decisions okay so amy christmas break marks the end of the semester finals a lot of kids may be exhausted so is it okay for them to just come home lounge around do nothing <laughs> Sleep, sleep all day, yeah. right? Yeah, I've gone through this a few times. Mm -hmm. my, my youngest one just came home and, and he is tired. And we have to be, you know, we have to be realistic about this. You know, as much as we want to spend 24 seven with them and we want to have a big entourage of people there to greet them when they walk in the door, they really need to just unravel and unwind on their own time, their own cadence. You know, like you said, these might be their kids coming home for their first time. They might have had their first finals. They might be searching that internet to look for their grades to see what the curve was. They They've got a lot of anxiety and of, of course they're exhausted so you know I always give them a little grace period but then you know we talk about hey you're gonna be here a few weeks you know thinking about maybe talking about finances a little bit thinking well maybe you need to get a job a little bit before you go back to second semester all of those conversations but let them ease in because they have had you know this has been a lot of changes for everyone all right this is a big one drinking it's another one of the, mm. those things that kids they've likely done it in college you know should they be allowed to do it at home you know, it's a great question, and certainly it's a personal issue for each family. And so each family will talk about this and decide what is best for them. Um, you know, and I think it depends a lot on, too, of the family dynamic. This might be your oldest kid going off, and you've still got young kids in the house. So that might be a non-negotiable for you. This might be the oldest kid uh, or the youngest kid coming home with older siblings. And uh, that might be in our situation where maybe they want to have a glass of wine or a beer. Um, but you have to talk about things within your family unit. I think the best conversation to have around that is to put some trust in them and say, you know what we know you're responsible we know you're having a good time at school and we trust you and have non-negotiables like you know there's no driving there's no you know leaving the house those types of things so it's it's those conversations you have to have but be realistic about it and also give them some skin in the game all right well amy thank you so much for joining us today you bet happy holidays you as well and for more advice and inspiration you can follow amy on instagram at fearlessly facing 50.